Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is another Virgo girl recommendation time. All right, and I just watched a movie and I couldn't resist hopping on here and referring it to you because it was so touching. I found myself actually crying throughout this movie because there were so many touching things in it. Of course, King Richard is the movie. Will Smith did a fantastic job. I felt so emotional during this movie because anytime I see people who struggle and who come from like really, really humble beginnings and, you know, just from a rough background and then to see them excel and become this, I mean, one of the best, they're, they're, I mean, just one of the best at whatever they, whatever it is that they do or the best at whatever they do. It just always inspires me and it always touch, touches my heart because so many other people who get to where they are in life, they just had it easy. Maybe they had a grandfather or they knew someone who knew someone who could kind of push them along and help them to get doors open. But whenever there's someone who had no doors really open for them and they just had to fight and, you know, claw their way, not claw their way, but they had to fight and they, it, they actually relied on their real talent and that's it. It's inspiring. I always love it. I don't care what it is, whether it's music, uh, whether it's an actor, whether it's, you know, some type of sports like this, whatever the field is, I love to see people who just are genuinely talented and they just worked very, very hard to get where they are. I feel like people appreciate it more. And I also feel like when you come from, especially like where Serena and Venus came from, where they had to fight to get into an arena where not only was it tough, you know, a lot of competition, but they also were like a unicorn of sorts because there weren't like a lot of black or, you know, like black people doing what they had done. They were the first, they were the first to do so many things. And just to look at, you know, them as little kids, because that's what the movie kind of focused on. They're younger when they first started and how they got started and all of that. So that's, you know, like the where it focuses on that point in their lives. So, you know, with that being said, you see these little kids and how their father, oh my God, he really, really believed in them. Like, I couldn't believe like how he, it's like he manifested this. He was like, before they were even born, he like wrote out this plan. And not just him, also their mother, just how she spent time with them. She was like working as a nurse. She was working very hard, but she also put her blood, sweat, and tears into helping them uh, with their homework, you know, training and just helping them to be the best, what they are today. You know, the parents were so pivotal and they were so dedicated and they truly believed in those kids. And sometimes that's what it takes. I mean, having two parents that really believe in you like that, that is amazing. And then that trickle down, of course, being when you're young and you have someone that supports you and believes in you, of course, you're going to grow up to be confident and believing, you know, for the most part, believe in yourself because you had that support. So that's, what we saw with them. We saw them become the confident one and, you know, believe in themselves and also very touching how much those young girls really believed in themselves, the confidence that they had in themselves. It was so inspirational and it just amazing. I think this is a great movie for young girls to watch and, you know, just see, and, you know, anybody who has a passion or something that they're dreaming about it's just amazing to see something like this. So you don't stop dreaming. So you realize that, and you know, like they say in America, you can really be whatever you want to be. Now, for some of us in the world, it's going to be 50 million times harder to become that thing than another person. But the point is, when you see stories like this, you know that if you really, really work hard and it's something that you're passionate about, even though when you have oppressors, you have people maybe trying to sabotage you, it doesn't matter. It's like if you just believe in yourself and you just keep fighting the good fight and it can happen. So yeah, it just made me think about just, wow, just anything is possible if you believe in yourself. So there was that. And I loved, okay, so those are the elements I loved. I love the fact that the family supported them so much and how 
the parents really believed in them. To have parents that believe in you like that, that is amazing. And that definitely, I'm sure, helped them to get to the level that they are. Also, the fact that I loved all the struggles that they showed. They showed, though they went through a lot to get to where they are today. They went through a lot. But of course, they have been, I mean, they've had a lot of money and they've been famous since they were very young. So most of their, 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 most of their life, they've been, you know, okay. But the point in time in their lives when they weren't okay, they really weren't okay. It was pretty bad. Then, um, the other point I want to touch on is Will Smith. Will Smith nailed it. I, you know, I didn't expect any less of Will Smith. Very proud of him. Loved what he did. He embodied um, Richard Williams very well. I think he did a fantastic job. And also the little girls that played Venus and Serena did a great job. The mother, um, um, An Anjane Ellis played the mother. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She always, she never misses either. I've seen her on so many movies and to me, she always does a great job. She's another one of those unsung actresses that I feel uh, doesn't get enough credit. She always does things in movies to me that make them seem very relatable. I'm sorry, make her character seem very relatable. She always embodies whatever her character is. And it just seems like she's someone, you know, you know, she's very relatable. So I do like her acting style. And I, and I always enjoy movies that I've seen her in uh, movies that she's in. I always enjoy the movies that she's in. So she's great as well. Overall, great movie. I think it's a good movie to watch with family and just sit down and enjoy it. I think it'll be a great movie to watch over the holidays with your family. Just sit back and relax. It is kind of a tearjerker. And, you know, there's just certain parts where it's just like, oh, it's so touching. But it is great. The movie, I will say in closing, it's nothing like I thought it would be. It's, uh, you know, just I just went into it thinking it was going to be something totally different. But it actually focuses on a period in time I guess to sum it all up, I guess they want to show us, they wanted to show us basically everything that happened leading up to them being, you know, signed and being, I mean, getting all these deals and things like that. They wanted to show us the beginning before they were anything, you know, before anything happened. They kind of went through those periods in their life, which was great because that's the part that, you know, a lot of people don't know about. So it was very great to see that. I learned a lot. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I highly recommend this movie. Again, King Richard is on HBO Max. Will Smith stars in it. Kudos to Will for going in there and getting the job done and bringing this type of movie out where we can kind of watch it during this time of year, during the holidays. I think it's a great ad this time of year. We always need good movies that we can watch this time of year that are like family friendly, and this is a great one. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Until next time, peace.